Hello, Woods of Odin, responding yet again to Duak the Artist, National Day of uh, Prayer. I had a similar idea. My idea started with uh, National, some kind of blasphemy day, but we already have blasphemy day. I believe it's September 30th. Of course, if you have a passion about blasphemy, go ahead and blaspheme. Um, I like rather like the idea of a National Inclusion Day, um, and by that, scratching, not picking, by that, <laughs> I mean, yeah, everyone do something that they have a passion about, whether it's prayer or performing some sort of magic. I'm thinking I might demonstrate the spliff method of firing sigils, um, you, you know, make, make some kind of basic sigil and um, demonstrate oh, some, some way of firing it, which by the way, it won't be um, quiet meditation <laughs> until my mind is completely clear and the gnosis kicks in. Um, to, do, to do it quickly, I'll have to do something like jump off a table and fall off my face or something to clear my mind, make room for the gnosis and fire the sigil, right? Um, But yeah, pure chaos. Yeah, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> anyway, so um, there, there's even you know a blasphemy challenge, and there, I mean, lots of people have taken it. Occasionally, people still take it, and for many people, I don't see much point. I could sit here and say, I deny the Holy Spirit. Okay. So, if I don't believe in a hell, it's, it's, it's not any sort of act of courage. Now, for somebody who has recently been liberated from at least very dogmatic, fundamentalist way of thinking, or liberated from way, some, some way of thinking that it has not worked for them, then yes, it can be very therapeutic and very li liberating, some, along the lines of, um, say, a satanic black mass. Now, many Satanists don't even perform Black Mass, but certainly some do as a way of ritualizing, um, severing themselves from the restrictive dogma of Christianity. I mean, you know, human beings, we, we need ceremony, we need ritual. It, it's, it's the way that we are wired, and th it doesn't have to be religious, but it, it can be, and that can be useful, but anyway, I digress. So, <clears throat> right, I agree. Um, I love your idea of having people do whatever religious practice. Um, in fact, I support people doing either one, doing it on YouTube, or two, talking about it, what they did on YouTube. Because many of these things can be intensely personal. And as for atheists, I don't, I, sure, motivational speech can be a good thing, but I'm thinking most atheists, and I'm agnostic, I keep going back and forth on the theist atheist thing. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm really agnostic, but anyway. Um, how to explain. Um, I think most atheists will want to use that time to teach. Um, perhaps debunking lies like there are no transitional species. Yes, there are. Or perhaps explaining um, um, how, how irreducible complexity is a flawed idea and explaining how um, you can have mm, in you know intermediate stages between not say not having wings and having wings um, you you can have a stage at which the wings aren't developed enough for an animal to fly but they can still glide thus evading predators thus surviving to pass on the genes or perhaps um, a nihilist will want to clear some things up about Frederick Nietzsche, such as he was not anti-Semitic. Um, 
I mean, so I'm, I'm thinking that for atheists, the National Day of Prayer can be the National Day of Teaching or National Day of doing something nice for somebody, whether it's donating to charity or actually working in a place like a, a homeless shelter, a soup kitchen, you know, battered woman shelter, wherever you volunteer, if you do volunteer work. And if you don't, you can certainly find something nice to do for somebody else. You know, call it a national, call it Humanist Day or something. But yeah, I I really like your idea. I don't know if I I don't know how you're going to um, do it as far as having some kind of system. But yeah, Thursday Thursday I'm getting more work done on my tattoo. Um, if that's not an act of magic, I don't know what is, but yeah, I, I can use Thursday to maybe talk about chaos magic or something like that. Um, actually, I think maybe what I'll do is, um, I do need to get back to meditating. Um, meditate, um, make a sigil, fire a sigil, and just use the day to be magical. Um, magic is not something that you do, it's something that you are. Of course there are different interpretations of what magic is, but I think of it as living my will, bringing my will into reality. I've gotten a little off topic, I'm rambling. Um, I just, the show that used to be Grovecast, I don't know what it is anymore, I forgot comment down there let me know. I just listened to that and it was spectacular. Or maybe if I order an apocrypha, because I'm interested in Gnosticism now, um, and I get it, maybe I can talk a little bit, at least my first impressions about what is in there. But anyway, yes, National Day of, of Inclusion, where we all do whatever it is that we do, that we have a passion about. Even the non-religious have a passion. So, good idea, Dumak. Uh, you and I are thinking along the same lines here. Awesome. Which, I don't know what that says is about you. I'm waiting so YouTube doesn't cut me off. Mm -hmm. Waiting around, waiting around, la la la, la la la.